wants that much food, I need to take off my jacket because each house is built in such a way that they doesn't hide the sun from each other. I'm born on the 7th September. Speechless. Speechless. Oh, tamam, tamam, okay. Tamam. Wow, guys. This place is amazing. We are in Kayakai ghost town. I have been wanted to visit this place for a little while. It's a piece of history for Turkey. This place, it's an old village that now obviously nobody lives anymore. In the old time, Greek and Turk was living in harmony together here. At the end of the Ottoman Empire, it was such a beautiful village, which the Greek was doing a little store, little business. Turk was living together. We even meet an old lady that remember and say when the Greek have been pushed away felt like she lost her sisters and brother so being here is very emotional for me and there is mystic energy something very powerful but you need to see this by yourself look at this This, guys, is exceptional. This is the main church. It's an Orthodox church built in 88. And apparently inside is exceptional. So let's see what it is. <laughs> this is a piece of history. Imagine how many people stepped in here, putting the faith into God. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is insane. Wow. Speechless, speechless. I'm so happy to be here, guys. Really happy. As much as I like to have fun, I like to learn, I like to discover and collect things for myself. Memories, experiences. Because at the end of your life, it's a journey. You never know when you're gonna go. And you don't wanna go with an empty knowledge, an empty mind. So that's why I dedicate my life of traveling, experiences, learning, getting different skills. And being here right now, it's definitely a blessing for me. Wow, exceptional. In a, such a spiritual place, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing that I do when I go to the nature. And if you remember my previous vlog, and if you didn't watch it, it was beautiful in the nature in Mersin. But when I'm in a, such a place, I need to to absorb and capture the energy and I'm gonna get myself probably a little a minute just to meditate be quiet and you know appreciate this energy Wow you can feel it's like almost you're in a movie like Lord of Rings. And by the way, just to give you information, I make some research. Apparently, there is some horror movie that have been shot here. It's just exceptional. And even the way the house are built, the architecture here is very specific. Each house is built in such a way that they doesn't hide the sun from each other. And I think everyone, like most of houses, especially the top one, used to have a big garden and have their own kind of farm. It is such a powerful energy here you can feel history and that's why it have his name ghost town you see you can see the architecture the stairs some houses you can still see the cheminée there is fig trees everywhere imagine a hundred years ago i could literally imagine children running here getting the fruits from the trees and wow it's just mind-blowing this place i love the the visual and how it feels like wow I'm really glad I'm here and that we wake up that early. We wake up at six in the morning to make sure that the site is totally empty and to have this unique experience. We are guys in 
and sewing hotel in Kayakai. And it's such a crazy story how this happened. We was at the Akiaka kite surf place and I was talking like, okay, I need two nights and I get a lot of offers of kind of like very luxury and very bright hotel, but I wanted something more atypic, something more natural, more organic. And a woman hear me talking and she offered me, she said, listen, I have a place. She told me the story behind it. So basically this place was for a long time left and not taken care of because the owner that started that project died. But her and her husband get partners and rebuild that place, but not just rebuild. They use local work. There is a squirrel. Can you see two of them on the tree? Beautiful. That's what I want to come here. Be with the nature. <laughs> I think they're chasing each other. So cute, so cute. And that's why I want to come to those places like this, to be with the nature, see those things. So I was saying the place have been rebuilt in such a specific way. They use for the woodwork, the local people, they rebuild and remake that place in the traditional way. And also what touched me a lot, you know, after the earthquake in Hatay, a lot of people are without houses, without work. It's difficult to rebuild and to find opportunity. But this place decided to hire people for the garden, for the kitchen, for the cleaning and offer them a place to stay. So they get people from Hatay, bring them here and make them work here. And I think it's so beautiful and I felt very touched by that. So I tell myself, let's put the luxury apart. I'm doing a lot of luxury time to time and let's come here. Let's be involved with that project. Let's help them to showcase that beautiful place because it's still stunning, it's beautiful. You're in the middle of the mountain. Everything around you is trees, is nature. Those are the rooms. You have those type ones, which is very beautiful. And then myself, I got the bungalow, <laughs> which is even more traditional. All inside is wood. Even look, this is traditional oven. They make their bread, lavash. They make it here, they own. So everything is homemade. And that's why I say, okay, we do that. And the owner, I have been so kind because the place is not fully open, but she made it happen for us. And this is like, again, energy, connecting with people, talking to people, you will attract and get more opportunity. That's what it's about. So I'm just so grateful. I'm gonna show you now where I stay, my bungalow, and then we're going for early session with a beautiful view on the mountain. Let's go. Günaydın arkadaşım. Ne haber? İyi misin? Ben bugün çok mutlu. Gostan bitte inanılmaz güzel çok mistik enerji ve it's very historical. I'm so hyped and energized right now. And I just noticed something. This is my bungalow. Guys, do you know where I born? I born on the 7th September, which I didn't know. 7 Zero 09, 7 September. I'm, <laughs> this is a coincidence. But anyway, this is the bungalow. Let me show you how this looks like. All the woodwork that you see, it's all made of wood. I've been restored because those was totally rooted. Trees was coming apparently inside. They renovate and they use local artisans worker to make this place as the same original project that was that place. So this is my bedroom. Here we have the bathroom, everything, even the smell. When you're inside, you smell the wood. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something very natural. You get out of the room and look at that guy. You go out, bang, you directly have trees, birds, nature. I wanted a little peace. And the fact that there is just me here in this whole place, I feel really like privileged. So again, thank you for the honor to us as it's just wonderful. Let me show you around. And there is in the center, that beautiful pool. That same when you swim, I want to take you there so you understand the view that I'm talking about. So here we have the pool, but when you're in the pool, come with me and see that. This is incredible, the view. And that's how the owner now of this place decided to restore that place. She got pregnant, she have a baby, the baby came out. Two days after that, her husband called her and said, you have to come here. She was, come on, I just make the baby. He said, please come here and see that. She came here, she stood exactly here and watched that view and that convinced her to take on that journey of making that place alive again. So, so beautiful. Totally in immersion with the nature. Full panoramic with the mountain. Çok güzel yani, inanılmaz yani. Bak kanka ya, bu ne? Bu ne? Üff! 
So now, what's the plan? Before a good breakfast, we're gonna allow ourselves a nice stretching mobility session. Guys, look at this view. A little stretching to make sure you understand I am not a certified yoga teacher, neither a professional athlete. I practice as much as I can for myself. And if I can motivate people and encourage people to do a little more, that would be just awesome to me. So I'm gonna have my little session and that's all. <laughs> So as much as I'm training in the gym, and you know guys, I'm doing also a lot of boxing, sometimes jujitsu, sometimes Muay Thai, kickbox. So I try to keep my body flexible and that's the best way to don't get injured, to preserve your body because the problem with fitness is repetitive movement. You become stiff and the muscle also need flexibility and explosivity. So that's why I'm trying as much as I can. And lately I have been encouraged a lot by some close people that always tell me I love stretching. I do it every day. And I'm like, I don't. But I, every time I remind myself, yeah, I must. So it's really, really, really healthy. Fischiculage. Wow. <laughs> I think they're gonna be like, you guys are gonna eat this by yourself? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So Nevar, Nevar, Yumur Tavar. We have Painir, Injir, Domates, Balkai Mike, Dahada Painir, Zeytin, Siyah ve Yeşil, Salatalı, Portakal Jam, Portakal Yeçer, Ceviz. We have Domates, Ekmek. Uh, this is Sigara Börek. Wow. Burada Sucuk ve Mantallı. And bu kadar. Ama bu kadar, bu kadar çok. <gülüyor> wow, çok güzel. Ben çok mutlu la. İnanılmaz güzel ya. Portakal suyu var mı? Var. Ben iki tane portakal suyu. Tamam. Ve biraz da e, lemon. Portakal ve lemon. Bela var. Evet, süper. Wow. So guys, with that much food, I need to take off my jacket because I'm, I'm gonna get hot. You know, like when you eat that much. Okay. Şimdi hazır. Hadi bakalım. Ne istiyorum? Ben... I don't even know where to start. <gülüyor> guys, bon appetit. Voilà. Mmm. Mmm. Back, back. Can you hear this? Mmm. Mükemmel. Merhaba. Ha, yes, boss. Şerap var mı? Var abi. I would like to get some wine for Istanbul. Please. Show me what you have. You have a beautiful cave. Thank you. Wow. What do you like the uh, wine? I like kırmızı. I recommend the from this region wine if you want because mm -hmm. you come here holiday I think so. No no I live in Istanbul. Oh. Yes yes. Ah, okay. I'm I'm local. Ah, That's why da konuşuyorum yani. Her şey değil ama konuşuyorum. Anlıyorum. Better my English. Tamam. This one. Okay. I don't know if I know this one. Likya. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Uh, yeah, from uh, near the, you know, the Kash Halka. Yeah. Yeah. Elmalı. Okay. Maybe you know Elmalı. Yeah, okay. I know. Making the from Elmalı. Okay. This is a wine that you like as well. I like the Pinot Noir. Okay. Pinot Noir is nice. How do you like the grape? Usually, I like them not too dry. I like to feel the land aroma. Merlot. Merlo can be, but if you recommend me this and you like this one, I want to try your recommendation. Oh, thank you very much. Because thank I'm you French, much. Yeah. I know wine very much, yes, I know. so I want to change my mind with mm. what I know and I want to try what people from the region know. You try this one. Okay. Uh, I recommend this. Okay. Drink it. This is from me, uh, present for you, okay? Wow, beautiful. And then, uh, again, Patara, you know Patara. Patara. Okay. But this thank is Thank you very much. One. And this is middle one. Middle one. Yes. Okay. And you open for the caraf, you know. Yeah, caraf. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Irmi, irmi. Yes. Maximum. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. So we will be tasting this and maybe I will do a video for social media, which I can yes, tag you as well. Much. Thank you. I put the wine that I'm trying and tell you which one I like more. So when you came to his restaurant, you can also get some wine. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Look that Laya. I love horses. Oh, you like the scratches, huh? <laughs> He's like clapping his paw on the floor. He's happy. So there's a horse range that is right across the hotel. Like you work like two minutes and you can have this beautiful place for horse riding. Thank you, Leila, for showing us that. So from Enzo Inn, you can just ride up rice horses near to ghost town, near to the breakfast place. Everything by walk. You don't need even a car. Tamam. I am your <laughs> scratches partner. Huh? Oh, tamam, tamam, okay, tamam. İyi misin? Ya çok tatlı. 
Guys, look at this food. We are trying one of the best Greek food that you can find in Fetier. It's called Maika's Restaurant. It's incredible, the presentation of the plate, the location, the view on the island, it's exceptional. So if you have time and you want to experience something different, especially it's the only Greek restaurant here, you should give it a try and have this experience. It's beautiful. Guys, we're leaving Enzoin and I'm going to another destination which again I'm not gonna say it otherwise you know everything and you don't have to watch so thank you again guys I'm so happy to share that with you don't forget to subscribe follow tell me your ideas if you want me to do something I would be so happy to share and to try to do different things for you so I see you soon and see you in the next episode guys Cheers.